Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change the scale, position, rotation, and even the anchor point of your clips. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need in all of 0.2 is obviously your sequence. So input your footage, drag over the sequence. Once you have your sequence, select on the clip that you want to be able to add this to. And now you should have it right here. Make sure you have your parameter editor selected too. In the top left hand corner you have your main node editor. So this is where we're going to be doing all the magic. So right click, go over to the add and you should go to math, hit the math one, drag it in between. So it's going to add it right there for you. Now select on the math node with the left click and then go over to the method and we're going to do the drop down menu into the multiply. Now that you have that, we just need to add one more node, which is the generator node orthographic matrix. And now that you have that, control drag and then put that into the other value that the main video is not in. So now that you have that, this is going to be absolutely amazing for you guys. But you can select on the orthographic matrix and now you can change the anchor point, which basically moves the entire clip based off of the center anchor point. You can change the position of it with the X and Y positions. Right here, you can also just double click on them to be able to change it. So 10 right there, and let's say we want the X position to be zero. Got that, and then you can even change the rotation. So let's do 90 degrees. You can see that, and it does work for the entire clip if it could keep up, there we go. So as you notice, it completely rotated the entire thing to 90 degrees. And you even have your scale right here to just sh make it larger or make it smaller, all depending upon your needs. So I'm just going to recenter that positions the same and the scale 100. And then you can even uncheck the uniform scale if you just need to scale like the Y position to make it a little bit larger on the Y axis or just need to change the X position separately. But typically you're gonna have it uniform, so click that if you want it to be uniformed. And then after that, you also have your stopwatch here. So if you're wanting to animate the position, let's say I want this text right here. So let me go right after it goes into the main video. So that's about right there is wherever it goes into the prison. Um, text. So we're going to hit the position and scale on that. And that's where we're going to want it to end up being in size, but we're also wanting it to be larger here. So now all I have to, I don't know why I did rotation, but um, let's do that. You can use the right and left arrows to jump in between the next and previous um, keyframes that you already have on the timeline. So I'm on this one and that one, get rid of rotation because we don't need that. All right, now that we have that, we also don't need position, but it's fine. And now we have these scales, so let's scale it up here. So now if you watch from the beginning, it's a lot larger at the beginning, and then it should start shrinking down for you to the real size later on. So those are the absolute basics of being able to use the new orthographic matrix to be able to change your position, scale, and rotation, and even the anchor point for your video editing in all of 0.2. If you guys like this video, remember, click this playlist over here for more all of 0.2 tutorials, and click this video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And remember, always have fun with the edit.